And going live. And we're live. I think we did it. I think we did it, guys. Uh, whew, that was not a fun evening. We have had our computer has gone haywire. Uh, I did have a full edited thing. Lori worked on it to get it all set up. Our man, Dave Air Marshall, is over here on the computer right now streaming this for us through his computer in Georgia. So it's a bit of a mess tonight. I apologize. I hope everybody can hear us and see us good. Um, we had planned to show you the unboxing of these cars tonight, but uh, that has changed. So maybe we'll just have to make something different with that now. <laughs> But uh, it looks like we're up and running. So I am sorry. You know, it's going to be a little bit different tonight than normal. Uh, you know, we don't have all of our features that we normally have. But we'll make it through this together, guys, and uh, see how this all goes. <laughs> so I see, and I'm sorry, I'm looking all over. This is not how we had scheduled to do this. But the comments are over here where I can see it. Air Marshal to the rescue, that's for sure. We can see him, like I said. Um, sorry, once again, guys, for how this went tonight. But we're here, you know? One way or the other, we'll make it happen. So I guess we're going to get into what we came here for, the meat and potatoes. We've got our Carrera digital set. Now, we're going to try. Let me get this turned here. Laura, let's try and flip cameras. So we're going to see if this still works. Oh, Lord. Okay. oh Lord. We're going to make sure all this is working before we try it. If it's terrible, we won't do this the rest of the night. But we're going to try and switch to our other camera that shows the track view. We had set up multiple camera angles. Uh, and I just want to make sure everything's working. So did it work? It's going to take it a minute over here. Oh, and we had the cat on here for uh, us to know if the camera was working or not. We were having all kinds of issues. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's fixing the switch over. So, so uh, okay, cool. So, we have a new Boozer Barracks member. Okay. So, it does a little Skype changeover. So, here's the track layout right now, guys, just to give you a little bit of look uh, around the... New track. I, ha I didn't have a lot of scenery yet. We have a 3D printer coming right now to make more track scenery. Uh, I did make these lights here uh, custom. They were actually landscape lights, and I made uh, billboards out of them. So, yeah, we've got one on both sides of the track um, over here, too. I do have an unboxing tonight of a brand new Carrera car, too, as this goes. Uh, it's just a little different. Like I said, yeah, ATST to scale. Uh, it was kind of funny I had that, the at at. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> it's just been interesting. So let's talk a little bit about Carrera Digital. I'm going to actually move this. And once again, let me see if I can do this. It's very weird. There's a big delay. I'm going to try and get you pointed in the right spot. Where is it? Right here. I'm looking at a tiny screen. <laughs> we're, we're having to run things a little bit different tonight, like I said. There we go. I got it in. So this is the Carrera digital control unit. Uh, everything you're going to do with your Carrera cars is based around this. Do I have it right? Oh, yeah. I think yeah. so. I was looking at that little screen. That screen's... Guys, we are very thrown off tonight, so you're going to have to bear with us a little bit. It's just a little bit different. Have I got it pointed in completely the wrong spot still, or do I have it good? Uh, I think I got it good. I think you're good. All right, so we have a few cars sitting here on the track. Uh, these are the cars that came in the Triple GT Carrera pack. If you were to go out and buy this pack right now, you'd get these three cars. You get what? Oh, the control unit, and uh, you would get an oval track set, um, which I had pictures of it all set up in the stock configuration, but we can't play those tonight, so I'm sorry. I will make another video at a later date. We'll put all that in there and edit it up so it'll look a little prettier. Uh, everybody, does it sound good? Yeah. You guys let me know if I need to turn my gains or anything out. It... Set up weird right now. 
like I said. Uh, <laughs> it's throwing us off a little bit. But anyway, so let's see here if I can hold this car up and show you. So the details on these cars are absolutely fantastic. Um, this is one thirty second scale. They're like the old school cars that you would have seen where you have the brushes on the bottom and the little fence to hold it in the track. But this is digital now, which I will be showing you. Laura, can you make that screen bigger somehow? I'm working on it. Yeah, that'd be awesome so I could see what I'm doing. As much as I love Dave's pretty face, I would love to be able to see what I'm doing on camera. Um, uh -huh. Aha, aha, she did it. I can now see, guys. So here is one of the little Porsches. And as you can see, same thing. It's got the little fence that keeps it in the actual track. They also have an IR sensor right here. And on the track, which I don't know if you can see right now, we might pick up a camera and walk around here in a minute to show you this better, but there's an IR sensor in the track. So like lap counting, when that goes over that, that's what counts your laps. And I can turn this on real quick. The cars also are lit, they have lights, but see you can hear as the car goes over the start line that it actually will pick up your track time uh, and lap position. Um, now the other cool thing, pull these off for a second, when you get your set, see this car is not programmed to this controller, you have to program it. So you take and you hit code you pull the trigger, the lights will flash on the car, and now it's coded to this controller. So, hush. So, the dog doesn't like the car. You can see that it's coded to this one now. So, the other neat thing about that is if I pull that off for a second, I put this car on the same track, I hit code, I can pick up another controller and code that car to it. So, now the cool part is these two cars can run on the same track at the same time. So the Lamborghini runs off of this one. The other car runs off of this one. This makes it to where you can run up to six of these on the same track versus in the old days you could only run one per lane. Now you can run six cars in one lane. And the track does have switching points. We'll show you that here in a minute. Um, and these things rip, guys. They are fast. Uh, the stock control unit, as it sets, you can plug into... Can you watch the uh, uh, comments, Lori, and let me know if I missed anything? Guys, with the way the comments are and everything going tonight, I'm having a hard time watching them. So I'm, I'm trying as best as I can. Lori's going to start watching the comments, though. If you guys have any questions as we go tonight, uh, let us know and I will try and answer them in full. Uh, so, or Dave yell at me, he can, he can yell too right now. Um, anyway, so like I said, you can run up to six of these on a track. Uh, the tracks come to where you just snap them together. There's actually little red clips that go in each spot here um, that clip these tracks together so you can make whatever you want. Um, the only thing that I have added tonight outside of the GT pack that I was telling you about um, is I have an extra set of track pieces. Hush dog. So I have this extra set which came with some more curves, some straights, and then it came with a squeezing section which is actually right here right now. And then we also added the hairpin turn. Hey, hush. The dog won't be quiet right now, but the hairpin turn, uh, which we will show you around the track here in a minute. Someone says, so where's the Tesla? And I bet you can guess who that <laughs> That's is. That's Tim Ellis. Where's the Tesla? Hey, Tim, these are all Tesla. This is a Tesla Porsche. They're all electric powered. So the other cool thing, guys, is as I showed you a minute ago, in a digital slot car set, so... You can see we can run this one car on this lane, but this car can run off the same controller on the other lane also. So no matter where it is on the track, this controller runs it. Um, let's see. Can you see the lights right now on these cars? Mm -hmm. I think you can. If the car is setting still 
and you're doing a daytime race, you can click the button once, and that turns the headlights off also. Oops, and I just bonked the microphone. Um, yeah, and here in a second, I'm going to back this up a little bit. We're going to get Lori in here, and we're going to rip these things around the track. But I just want to give you a very basic overview of how this works. Um, this is a stock control unit. I haven't added any of the accessories yet. We are going to add the accessories onto this. But like I said, if you were to get this, you'd get these three cars, this control board as it sets. You can also do like start a race. It's going to go across. If somebody jumps, it'll stop. And the car that jumped the line will blink to tell you that that was the car that jumped the line. I'm going to start it again so it'll go through its sequence. Goes all the way across and then beep and now you can go. That's some of the features in a nutshell. Oh, I guess I could do this too. So you also have speed. So say you have a kid that wants to play this and you don't want to hand them a car that will fly across the room because I'm telling you guys these are fast. You can go to your speed setting. It's one through 10. So if we go down here to one, uh, now the car, you really have to push hard and the car won't fly off the track. I can, I can hold this down the whole time and the car won't fly off the track. You can see it's gonna come right by, no problem. Now, if you take and move the speed up, Let's see, I'll come by here a little faster. I mean, it really will scoot along. Let's see, can I move the camera up a little bit and get you guys to see the whole track? Give you some running here. I mean, they're fast. Turn the lights back on. Yeah, and if you're full bore going around this thing and you hit it wrong, it will fly off the track. Now, the other cool thing is this is a Carrera digital set. This button on the front is your lane change. I have a lane changer right here under the ATAT. So you're coming up to the lane change, you hold that button, and the car will change lanes. Now I have a bunch of other cars on the track right now that I'm about to plow into if I come through here full speed. But now the car is in the other lane. Once again, we're going to hit that and go over to the other lane. So it's as easy as pull the trigger and you can go to the other lane. Now remember, there's six cars going at once. So you can block people this way or you can make passes. There is also a pit lane and these will run fuel management on them through the Carrera app, which we will be doing more into it. Um, but there is an app connect that we can run an iPad out here in the middle of the track for everybody to see their lap times, fuel systems, and then you can also link your phone so when somebody comes over, they can link their phone to it and they have a personal driver display that only shows their car information. Um, they do also sell mechanical add-ons where you could do driver stations that mount into the track, um, but I'm gonna do the Carrera app instead just because it's a lot cheaper. The app's 40 bucks. I already have an iPad. And if you buy the lap counter and the control tower and all that stuff, it's like $200 versus 40 bucks and hook an iPad to it and go. Um, the other neat thing, I don't know if you can see it right now, but when you let off the gas, the brake lights do come on on the car. I don't know if that's coming across right now. We might get you down on the table here in a second and try and show that. Um, but yeah. It's, it's pretty simple, guys, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, these things, you just push down to go. They are proportional throttles. I don't know where the car is right now. Let me get it over here on the screen. So, <laughs> the dog does not like these things. Uh, so it's proportional. So a little bit, and the more you push, the faster the car goes. You know, that kind of thing. Um, you can also set up custom braking. So I guess I'll get down here again. So on the control unit, any car on the track when you're doing programming is what you're programming. So you can program all these cars different. If you want the kid to have his car on the slowest setting with max brakes, you can do that. Yes? When you were talking about the refueling, the fueling gauge, do they have to refuel during the race? 
Yes. So, as it comes right now, we don't have the fueling option. Um, once I get my Carrera app set up, I'll be able to do it. And you do need to get the pit lane adapter. The pit lane adapter is three pieces long. And so you can add it right here at the start finish if you want. And it's a piece that jogs off to the side with a refueling tower. And when you stop in it, you pull the trigger and that refuels the car. So um, right now I have the fuel system turned off. There's actually an option right here that says fuel. You can do fuel off, fuel on, or what's called real. Um, real, the car will be very or will be slower and have more sluggish brakes when the car is full on fuel. And as the car gets lower on fuel, the car will get faster and have more responsive brakes. Um, we will we do plan on showing you all this more detailed, guys. Um, like I said, I had it all pre-recorded and pretty, but now we're just kind of having to do it this way. <laughs> so a little different than what we were planning, uh, but it's still fun. And like I said, the cars are absolutely beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking over here at the wrong screen. I'm all messed up tonight. Uh, the lighting is all funky. Um, but yeah. No, I like this question. Is there any way to hit a tree so we feel more at home? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's guardrail, so um, I guess now that I put all this in here and can't pick this camera up, let's see. Can we switch to this one? I'm going to try and carry you around the track for a second, guys, and yeah. show you some of this stuff. Give me just a second. Just Lori's going to get it switched. It again. We're going to try and switch cameras. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Sorry, guys. Having issues with switching cameras. Shaky and oh, I got rid of my. Uh, hang on, she's switching cameras. Not as graceful to the night as we normally are. <laughs> it's a little more difficult to switch cameras in Skype than it is on a. Okay. Program. Good to know. So right now you can see the brake lights. Let's see. Can I push this a little bit? Yeah. Can you see those real good? Let me go back around the track. Come back over here. Oh, there's a cord. <laughs> And the dog's freaking out. And... All right, here we go. Difficult. So if you could see it, let me turn the lights off. See the brake lights, guys? Yeah, there you go. You can see it. And this is a squeezer portion of the track, too. So if you have multiple cars, which one ran this one? Here it is. See, these guys can't go through this lane at the same time. So crashes and calamities happen here quite a bit. Uh, the track does come with these guardrails. They are very crucial that you use them on corners of the table. <laughs> and I'm sorry that the room's a mess. <laughs> we didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> the the guardrails are definitely crucial, though. They keep the cars from flying off the table. It can get to be very messy. Um, these pieces here are also additional pieces that you can add. <sighs> the dog. He's driving us crazy tonight. Um, and then let me give you a better look at this too. So this is the changeover lane. Let me grab a car real quick and I'll go through it. Let's see. I'm trying to run this one-handed right now. It's not the easiest. I grabbed the wrong car. This is hard. This is hard stuff. Let's see here. Back down on the track. And here we go. All right, so we're going to hit this right here. Oh, there's a cord. Cords are your enemies when you're doing this. So here we go, change lanes, and you can see there's a little piece right there that the car actually changes on. And like I was telling you earlier, there's these sensors built into the track that shoot a little infrared up into the car, and that's how the car communicates on changing lanes, lap times, uh, and you can buy additional lanes that will do lap, lap time around the room. All right, let's go back to the other camera. It's it's too difficult without an eye to do this one. Hopefully that's still in sort of a usable angle for it a little bit. But let's uh, get over here. I have a brand new car, and I had planned to unbox it tonight with everybody. Thank you. Lori's fixing it. Give her a second. I'm terrible at this car. Hey, you know, we gotta we gotta show our uh, newbiness every once in a while, right? We can't always be pros. 
<laughs> it should be Dave, don't sure. look so happy. <laughs> so, have I missed any questions yet? <laughs> Where are we good right now? <laughs> Dennis so, Farley says he can't wait to kick your butt on the track. Oh, Dennis Farley, when you come down here, we are going to have us some good betting. So I have a brand new car here. Let's see. Am I, you like can you make that one bigger again? Yeah, I'm going to need it. She's, she's making my screen bigger again. we got a brand new car here. So if you decided to get more Carrera cars, just a little tip, all the digital cars are going to come on blue box borders. All the analog cars are going to come on black. So if you get the Evolution set, that's an analog set. You won't have the fueling features. You won't be able to run multiple cars. You can only run one car per lane. Um, they are a lot cheaper, though. But if you want to go digital, you look for the blue cars, and you need to get the digital 124-132 set. And what that means is you can run 132 scale cars like the ones we have here, or you can want, run 124 scale cars on here. So... They make quite a bit bigger one. You do have to change the power transformer for the set if you decide to run the 124s because they use more power. Um, so anyway, here we go. We got the Ford Capri Zach Speed Turbo. So what you'll notice about Carrera is it's a German company. So there's a lot of German naming on these cars. Let's see, is that holding that right? Can you read that wing? It, it, I can't. It says Wuchen Spiegel. And I mean, everything on here is in German. Or maybe Slovenia. Maybe our Slovenia friends could read this for us. I know what Gran Turismo is. Does that count? But yeah, all the sponsors on these cars are in German, funny enough. So, and guys, if you are looking to get these, they are on Amazon. Uh, they are at, um, what is the name of that place? There's local retail stores. Hobby Town, USA, uh, local retailers wise. Um, dollars, Hangar 51, DOS cars, these dollars. Roughly, the digital cars run in the $45 to $60 range, depending on what the car is and the rarity. There's a bazillion of them to pick from. Go on Amazon, type in Carrera Digital 132, and it will bring up all kinds of these cars. Um, and as far as the track setup, uh, this track that I have with just the base set was 439. And to get the two add on pieces, I'm at about 600 bucks with everything you see setting here. Now, a friend of mine bought this car for him to come over and race with. We're going to do, we're going to do a weekly guys night where we come over and we race. So, you know. The cars are about 50 bucks is what you can plan on. If you go uh, analog cars, they're about $30 a piece. Now, the cool thing is if you buy the digital cars, they will run on analog or digital. And if you have a friend that has scale electrics, these will run on scale electrics also. Uh, analog track. There's a dip switch right here on the bottom. This switch, you push this over to one side and you can switch to where you can run this car on analog. So this car will run analog or digital. That's the nice thing about buying the more expensive car is you only have to buy one. And you can run on anybody's track. Kind of. You can't run on Scale Electric's digital. So anyway, they don't mix brands on digitals. But on analog, you can run anything you want on anybody's usually. Um, kind of. So... Let's get the car out of the box and looking sweet. So this is this is kind of what we're going to do in the future, guys. I'll probably do better unboxings with the big camera. But, uh, yeah, this is a sweet-looking car. Crazy paint job. They've got Camaros and, and Vipers and all kinds of American muscle cars, too. Challengers. There's a Daytona. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I think i got the light kind of weird right now. Let me turn this a little bit. How's that? Is that lit better? Yeah, that's a little better. Um, I don't know if you can see the interior of this. Try and get it to focus. But everything on the interior of the cars, the coolest thing about Carrera is 
every little piece of the interior on these is done too. Let me grab the Ferrari for just a second. If you can see, is it blurry? The uh, engine bay, like you can see every detail in this car they've modeled. It's amazing all the details of these. But yeah, this is, like I said, this car was $49.99 <laughs> and you get, you know, a different car. So now we have one for every controller on the track. Oh, one thing I will say, the triple power set only came with three controllers. So we did have to buy an additional controller also to be able to run four. Everybody's asking if there's generally, Tim still says no Teslas. No, no Tim, no Teslas right now. They, I think they make one if you really want a Tesla. I believe there is one. But you know me, I like my, my sports cars. So I guess, can we get Lori in here? Let's let's fire up the new car. Let's get Lori on the track. Let me see. Can I back up the dog? Excuse me, dog. Move. I'm going to move the camera. I'm sorry, everybody. It's going to be a little shaky for a second. Let's see here. Let's see if we can adjust this where y'all can see most of the track. Let's see. Maybe this way. Everybody see good? Let's see. Uh, let's program this car. So we're going to turn on the control unit. Once again, if you're needing to program stuff, we're going to hit code, pull the trigger. The lights will flash on the car. And now I'm programmed. And then Lori's going to grab whatever car she wants to play with. So she's grabbing the Lamborghini. She's going to hit code, pull the trigger. The lights will flash. And now we're coded. And let's, let's go on and set our speed a little slower because I had them on full blown. And that's a good way to break stuff because I'm telling you guys, these things are probably hitting 20, 30 miles an hour around this track. And when they fly off, they like go into the wall if you have them on full speed. So you don't want that. So we're going to go to like half for now. And uh, let's do this, Lori. Let's see here. Here we go. We'll go official. Here. Let's... Uh, Let's go official. And I mean, they whip around the track. Oh, oh and they both <laughs> crashed. <laughs> I'm paying attention to other things right now. <laughs> we got wires everywhere. Get the grabber. Got the grabber. <laughs> So Lori's grabbing it. I will say, if you get a big track like this, right now the track we have here is a 5 by 11 foot track. And so you can't quite reach the other side. So wherever it went, the grabber. No, sorry. Yeah. One of these is a must. <laughs> so when they go down across the track, you can reach over and grab them. <laughs> Anyway, all right, let's do this again, Laura. Let's keep going. I'm going to focus on the car for a second. <laughs> See if I can catch her. I doubt it. The Lamborghini so far has been the fastest. Oh, man! <laughs> Somebody's getting a little on the crazy side. She just sent it across the room again. The guardrails are paying off, though. That's for sure. Whoops. They pay off really well when I'm driving. <laughs> I will say the cars have been extremely strong, too, because we have crashed them like crazy. And the pieces are made to kind of just pop off. So, like, the wing popped off, but it just pops. Let's see. Can I hold that in the right <laughs> Talladega spot? Nights. <laughs> pops right back in. No damage. Oh, and all the cars come with extra mirrors and, like, all the little bits and pieces on the cars. Um just to show you, like here's the one we just unboxed and we're playing with it now, is if you open the back here, I'm oh, sorry, off camera, the car actually comes with brushes and guide rails and extra uh, mirrors and all the little pieces that you're probably going to end up breaking when you send it across the track like we just did. You get extra ones with your cars. It's like they know you're going to break stuff. 
So, um, and nothing's glued in on these cars, like I said, for the fact of, okay, I'm going to let my kids play with it. Let me pop, you know, all the little wings and the mirrors just pull out just so you don't break them as easy. Because if you really send one across the room, I mean, you could break something. Um, good question. What's our good question? Here we go. Sorry. Don't run me over. I'm going to pull right here in front of us. And there you go. Um, the 13th, for those asking about American cars, is this the question? Yeah. There are other makers that make more American-style cars. Carrera have a few, but not a lot. They can be converted, yes. So Scale Electrics is another line of cars that makes a lot of really neat cars, and they do sell the digital chips that are in these cars that you can put in those. And I'm not telling you you have to buy Carrera, guys. It's just the one I wanted to go to. I like all the features of Carrera, um, the digital aspect of it being able to run multiple cars there are guys that set up like four lanes of these and you can run even more cars that i haven't figured out how to do it yet i'm just telling you how they come out of the box and play you can drive i just don't change lanes you won't run me over um yeah but like i said the cars have been extremely resilient we haven't we haven't been able to break one where it doesn't run anymore um we have uh, definitely messed up some guardrails with them and like I said the first night we had it we set it up in the middle of the floor and you know the first thing you do when you get a slot car set is you mash the throttle all the way down well you don't do that with these these go flying across the room if you do that they are very fast so here we go let's get back into it I'm gonna let you go first the squeezer section here you can definitely crash a car in gosh nice catch She's getting too antsy on camera. She can usually keep her own. The way her watches me. And like I said, um, we do have the app counters coming and uh, the pit features and all that. We're going to do more. <laughs> Man, you keep flipping it over over there. I'm going to flip it right there in that corner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I did go to the local Scale Electrics slot car track this week also, and we did film a really nice video there, um, which will be coming out maybe this week. Um, it's all edited up. And I had just such a good time, guys. I'm definitely going to go back tomorrow. Oops, hang on, let me get my controller out of the way. Ah, oh, man. I think one of my tires is off a little bit. Happens. You just got to reset it. Um, and cleaning the cars and maintenance on them is not really that big a deal either. Um, I have actually taken apart the three that we came with the set. Uh, they collect a lot of dog hair and stuff in them. And, uh, yeah, that's another pinch point right over here um, on the uh, chicane. They can actually hit each other there, too, and knock each other off the track. All right, let's race it. Oh, they hit each other. <laughs> Oh, I set it off the track again. Sorry, we're having too much fun, and I forget to look back up. But, yeah, they're a lot of fun. Um, we've had a couple guys over and just been playing and playing. How, how did it get zoomed in? That was kind of cool. Is that I Dave think, doing think, that? I think Dave's doing that. He's, he's doing some movie magic on it. <laughs> he's giving us some movie magic here. Let's see here. Get some drift, some slow He's trying models. to make our driving look good. Trying to make us look better or trying to not see it go by. <laughs> anyway, it, it's just really cool, guys. There's a lot of uh, options available for it. Um, hey, I can move off the way if you want to keep playing, whatever. Guys okay, probably like seeing push us. Push back up here. But yeah, and like I said, they all have lights on them. Um, they're very well scaled. Um, and yeah... I'm not telling you you have to go out and get Carrera. I know it's it's a lot of money, um, but it's good. 
Um, we haven't had any issues. We've not been gentle on these at all. Um, I guess, let's see, can we sit back down for a minute and just talk now that we've kind of showed them that? Can we switch back over to the other camera? I know this is kind of a pain, but I'm gonna have Lori switch back. Give me a second. Maybe I'll do it right this time. And I'm gonna really pay attention to the comments too right now. Who are you racing, Wesley? That was Lori right then racing. Um, <laughs> Jojo Jute, <laughs> they just stop as a courtesy so that they don't run over the other cars, yes. Normally when there's a crash on the track, um, we, we, when we've been playing, we go uh, stop, you know, whatever. Um, did it switch? Oh, you didn't make me big again, but whatever, that's okay. But normally when there's been a crash on the track or an issue where your car comes off, we say track or crash or something, everybody knows to stop. Um, just because these are kind of expensive to just plow into the guy in front of you. And, you know, we try not to break these, but, uh, and then they can reset and we can keep going. Um, when I went to the slot car club, they have buttons set up and I have it coming to where we're going to be able to do it off our phones. So when I get the app connect here, there's something called a uh, race connect and you'll have an iPad out in the middle of the track that keeps up with all the lap times and everything. And then on the phone, you can link a phone to it also. And everybody that's racing can use their phone to see their fuel level, their lap time, split times. And then there's a stop button across the whole bottom of the phone. If you reach up and hit that, it instantly stops all the cars on the track. Everybody resets, you hit start, it'll count down and then you can take off again. It's very neat guys. Um, you know, another reason I really wanted to do this is there wasn't a lot of videos out there for this. <laughs> Kevin, I'm coming over soon. <laughs> do they come as TV? Uh, you could easily put an FPV camera on this, but I think you would get super motion sickness with as fast as these are. They don't look that fast until you get down on them. And in uh, scale... You know, these things are going 70 or 80 miles an hour around this track scale-wise. They're ripping. Uh, they do have rubber tires, if anybody was curious. One thing I highly recommend, and this is something I picked up when I was at the slot car club up in Lakeland, is a lint roller. Um, you can see the tire marks on it. You can pick up the cars in between races and clean the tires off, and you'll be amazed how much better they drive just by doing that little bit. Um, they also come apart very easily for maintenance. It's four screws on all of these that I've done so far to take the chassis off of the body. And then they have all ball bearings inside of them that you can pop out in oil. Um, the brushes, like I said, they all come with extra brushes and they just lift out. If you need to clean them or adjust them, they just lift out like that. They all come with an extra guide. So this little piece right here, if you were to ever break the piece that actually sets down in the track, it just pops out and they all came with an extra one. So the cool thing, if you were to get a Carrera car that I like is that part support. Part support's a big thing for me. That's why we really show, you know, Horizon Hobby or Motion RC. For the most part, their products here on the channel, you can buy parts for all of it. Um, you know, you now stuff gets discontinued. We get it. But for the most part, when anybody, the companies that we show here on the channel get a product and you guys see it here, you can usually buy parts for it. Sorry, trying to get the brushes back in so I don't lose them. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for the most part, we try and rep brand or show brands here on the channel that we believe in. And you know, I've done a lot of research on Carrera. I, I think their product support is great. Um, there's several different places to get it from that, you know, I can't send you to our normal places. I can't send you to Motion or Horizon because Carrera isn't distributed by any of them. But you can go Hobby Town USA. Uh, Amazon sells it. There's also Carrera Slots USA.com, I believe. Carrera Toys US. Well, that's the Carrera website, 
but that is not uh, where you can buy from. So Carrera does not sell directly. You have to buy through one of their distributors. So, But Amazon's a distributor, so you can go on there and get anything you want. Most of it's prime. It's pretty cool. There you go. Dave's giving you a look at the cars. We turn the lights on for you. There you go. Now you can show them some lighted cars. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Good job, Dave. I was seeing that out of the corner of my eyes. I turned the lights on for you if you want to give them another shot like that. Um, Where's the mask? <laughs> where's the mask? It's just me and my wife. Uh, we're not too worried about it. We both work from home, and we haven't been outside in a week, so we probably don't have no COVID in there. I like the red one. Me too. That's the Ferrari. It's a good-looking car. Been uploading. Oh, crash him up, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep up with the comments, too. If I miss anything, guys, I'm sorry. Like I said, we got thrown way off tonight. It's a little different. Um, thank you to all of the Boozer Barracks members. I've seen you in here. I see a lot of you have upgraded your props status once again. You're into the new set of props here. Sign the slot car track. If he wants to set one up in the room. <laughs> Joe Pellegrino, he's asking his kids if they want to do a track. Man, they're a lot of fun. You know, when dad gets back, he did them when he was a kid. Um, I need to find them. I have them somewhere in this house. My dad's slot car is from like the 60s. Um, and it, it'd be neat to like open them up and see what's changed. You know, for the most part, the cars haven't changed that much. You still have a little motor in the center of it going into a gearbox that goes into the... Actually, I could take one open real quick if y'all wanted. Uh, Lori, would you don't worry about it because I got it right here. Let's see, you already took it. You guys want to see what the inside of one of these cars looks like? Someone okay. was asking what they look like with the lights down. And do you race at night? Yeah, yes. So, actually, the lights on above us, we never have on when we're racing. Um, it looks way cooler if you don't have it on. And that's why I have the... I don't know if it's going to come across in camera. the lights... On, on the cars and then you can let's see show the cars I don't know how this looks on camera but we normally race like this I have a projector up on the corner um, and then there's the two lights on each corner of the track um, and then you can really see the cars really good the lights on them at night uh, and you can actually turn all the lights off if you wanted to and the lights are actually bright enough in these cars to where you can I don't know if that's hurting anything to have that setting across the track like that you can see them even with the lights all the way off uh, we did put a picture up on the Mary Boozer Facebook page of us playing with them like the first or second night we didn't have any track lights or anything and we played with them in the dark and yeah it, it's way cooler um, to play like this and when my 3d printer gets here on Tuesday we're gonna do uh, we're gonna build pit lanes and I'm gonna install lights in all the pits yeah you can let him in we're not playing with the cars now he'll probably be quiet um, but we're gonna install lights in all the pit bays there you go Dave's doing his magic zooms again you demand Dave you demand he's giving me a smile right now we're gonna hire you full time yeah Especially if this happens again next week. You're just hired. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. We do. But yeah, guys, these are really cool. And see if we can maybe get Dave set up. What I'm going to try and do is pull one open real quick so you can see how these work. Um, you definitely want to open them up. And every couple nights of racing, especially if you're racing them on... The floor in your house and you have dogs like we do uh they definitely are magnets for let's see i'm going to try and readjust the camera again uh can you give me top camera Lori? and dave can probably zoom if needed because he's the man what we're going to do is open one up this is the only one i haven't cleaned since we got them so this one probably needs to be opened and cleaned um, I don't know if I'm going to do a full cleaning, but it's not that hard. Uh, when I say you got to open them and clean them, it's no big deal. Let me adjust. Is that good, Dave, right there? You want me to put the camera down? Here 
He's got it. All right. So let's bust into the Lambo. You know, if I was going to clean it, I'd take all the little bits off. Um, I normally would grab, I don't know where my towel is. So, you grab the brushes. Let's see. You grab the little brushes. Just lift up gently. Oh, hey, thank you, Fred. Fred, thanks, man. We really do appreciate that. So, both of the little brushes come out. Does that help you anymore? Yes, Lori. I like that. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to uh, adjust again real quick. Now we're going to grab the center post right here. Am I still in screen? Uh, yep. All right. How about right here? <laughs> Dave yelled at me. He said, quit moving around so dang much. All right. So we're going to go right here. Pull. And this piece comes out. And now we're going to take the four screws out. Now, this is if you get one of these guys, just so you know how to clean it. You will need to do some maintenance on your cars. Now, something I like to do is make sure I put the screws back wherever they came from. So if I take it out of this side, I put that screw over there. Same thing with the brushes. I put one on that side, one on that side. You know, I like to keep things organized on the tray to where I can put it back together exactly how I took it apart. Not that these screws should be different, but I've taken enough small stuff apart to know that sometimes you'd be surprised when stuff doesn't fit like it should. So I just put them in the corners of the tray, and that's why I always try and clean on a tray. So now the car should just lift off. Screw, 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 screw. Yep. Uh, this is going to be the one that's different than the rest of them. Nope, there it goes. So the car body just lifts. I said it lifts. There we go. Oh, yeah. We need to clean this one. Holy cow. Can you get in on that, Dave? I don't know. Are you in on it already? I have no idea. I'm looking at Cool. Let's pull a dog hair. Hey, Lori, open that drawer you got in front of you and hand me that toothbrush. Toothbrush. So what I like to use to get the dog hair out, toothbrush works great. I normally don't do it over the track because you don't want to try and get dog hair back where you were or where you're going to be playing. But yes, dog hair is your enemy. But toothbrush works great. I'm going to throw it on the floor because I don't really have anywhere else to put it right now, but a toothbrush really works good to get this stuff out. Now, if it's real bad, you can also just push up this way on the uh, rear axle, and it will snap out. I'm just pushing up. There it goes. And you can pop that rear axle out. See? And then here's your bearings. And they've got all kinds of dog hair up in these things right now. So I'll just take my little toothbrush and get to where the dog hair is out of there. But this is basically all there is to the maintenance of these little cars. You know, they're whipping around the track pretty fast. Lori, if you'll lean up over by the lamp. Can you hand me the oil? Since we got it apart, guys, let's do the full maintenance on this thing. Oil. I use a little of this. Somebody's going to tell you it's the wrong stuff, probably, if there's any real slot car guys here. But my thought is better wet than dry, whatever you do. That's what she said, right? Dave? I'm just going to put a little. A little. Dad will do you guys. You don't need very much of this in here. Otherwise, you're just going to be slinging oil everywhere. A little bit of oil. I'm going to put a little oil on the gear. I'd like to put grease on the gears, but I don't have grease right now. Yeah, there you go. So. And it says canned air is handy for these things also. <laughs> yes, canned air would be good, but I don't have any right now. I got canned Wesley, and everybody says I'm full of hot air, so. You are full of hot air. See? Confirmed by the wife. But, I mean, I got that. You know, pretty clean. Am I zoomed in right now, or am I screwing this up, Dave? You're, you're, 
As long as you're over the pan, you're good. Oh, no, sorry. I need to stay down here. He's zoomed in. It's confusing. I'm looking at two different screens. All right, we're good. I'll stay down here, Dave. Over the pan. So, we're going to put it back in now. I'd have liked to got it a little cleaner. Wait, did I put that in backwards? If you put the gear set backwards, the car will drive backwards. So you got to remember, I think it went this way, actually. <laughs> We're going to find out here in a second. So before I ever put the body back on, I make sure to run the car. Ah, snap it back in. It's tight. And snap it back in. So what I'm going to do real quick... <laughs> Is just set it on the track for just a second and make sure oh crud i gotta put the things back in actually it's full air still let me pop these back in i need to clean these too but just for the sake of the video tonight guys i don't think i want to see me rebuild the whole car that's the big thing though you want to clean and oil those axles if you keep those and the gear set clean and free of dog hair and dirt and debris these little cars should last forever so we're going to just set it down there yeah i got them the right way so the car's going the way it's supposed to you can see you can also see all the lights really well right now and you really should never pull a slot car backwards but i did sorry yeah anyway yeah fits good uh, these are the magnet, oh, sorry, tray size. These are the magnets right here. So that magnet holds this down. They can still break loose when you're driving though, but there is a magnet set that helps keep that rear end planted. Um, if you wanna have a drift car, pop the magnets out and have fun. It'll slide all over the track, no problem. So I'm gonna knock this little bit of dog hair out of the front. Uh, I really want to take the axles out, but I'll do it later because these are full of dog hair. Mm -hmm. There's the chip. Let me get my tray back so I know where I'm at. You know what? I'm going to take it out because I can. So to get the front axle out, we need to pull the lights out. All you do is lift up on them. There's a light. Just grab it, lift up, move those out of the way. There is the piece that goes up to the what? Mm -hmm. This little piece right here that goes up to the drive. If I just lift that up, I don't even need to unplug it. Now I can pop this axle out and this axle out. And now I can lift this out and the whole axle will come out. The front axle is not as big a deal that you put it in the same way, but the back one you definitely have to. And if you can see, it is covered in dog hair covered but it's not even dog hair that's like carpet lint stuff papa says he likes your new shirt by the way y'all like that i got a new shirt it's pretty sweet papa's got new shirts here too if he ever comes home i don't know they're having too much fun over there i know i think he's decided that he's just gonna stay and live with tim papa is actually at the guy that's in the chat that keeps talking about Tesla's, he is actually at his house right now in Houston, Texas. I'm not, sorry, over the tray. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> you got to yell at me, man, when I'm doing it wrong. All right, so now we got all the dog hair and junk off of this axle. What I want to do is put a little oil. Oops, that was way too much, but that's okay. I'm going to run a little oil. Oil. Got that Texas accent. That's some oil right there. <laughs> right, Dennis. Oil. Like that? Hey, you know what, Lori? Is there, a, is there a rag right there? I just got oil all over me. I think if you lean over, is there is there a rag right there? No. Would you be yes. a wonderful wife and get me some oil? Some oil. Um, if you haven't seen it already, Simpson Slots has a tutorial on tuning these cars. Yeah. So, it shaves one and a half seconds off of the lap time. So the other thing you can definitely do to make these cars faster right out of the box, I, I have seen that video, is sand the tires to where they're actually flat. Um, the other way to do it is just drive the car and have fun with it. 
until they're worn flat because all of mine are flat now just from we probably put oh gosh a thousand laps on each of these now except for the green one but trust me it'll get there quickly and the cars definitely get faster the more you play with them um and like i said doesn't hurt nothing to just run them tires until they're straight now if you want to go out and just kick everybody's butt i'm here to have fun not as much for the real heavy racing um i'm more of a have fun guy always have been um but if you want to be super serious race car driver guy um you can be definitely are those motors brushed or brushless they are brushed brushed in runners i don't know if you guys can see that they're just the old school motors they sell replacements the nice thing is if you do have a motor go about they just plug in you got it it looks like the e-flight plugs i don't know if you can see that dave can you zoom in on that any chance pretty close in right now. Oh, okay is he on on it all right so you, mm -hmm. everything is very easy to work on on the carrera cars if you have a light go out you just unplug the light from the board with the plugs, put a new light in. If you have uh, a pickup lead up in the front go bad, unplug it, plug a new one in. If your motor goes out, unplug it, plug a new one in. Super easy. And here's the magnets right here. If you wanted to take them out, you just unscrew that and pop them out. Now, guys, I am not the expert on these. Let's, let's make this very clear. I am definitely not the expert on uh, these cars. I'm just a guy trying to have fun with his friends with them, which is what I've always told y'all on this channel. Fly with your friends, race with your friends, whatever. As long as you're out and you're having a good time and you're playing with your friends and enjoying what you're doing, I can't get to snap back in. Uh, I'm happy. Ugh not to break this they just snap back in there but sometimes they are tight oh there we go they are taut toy like a toyga ah oh, there it goes all right and i'm just going to take my little brush and clean off that little bit of excess oil still got dog hair i'm not a pro all right and now we just take our little leds and we're going to slot them back in and you'll actually hear, when you do this to your own cars, a noticeable how much quieter the cars will run. A little fiddly here. There it goes. A little light. And a little light. And now we want to tuck all that back down in there to where it's out of the way. So that we can get the body back on. What? Here's the head. Am I showing too much head right now? Let's see if I can get all this back on. Get the little radiator back in. Yeah, just Joel popped in when you were talking about it being tight. Giggity. Nice and tight. All right. Let's put our screws back in. I know it's backwards. It's because the car is upside down. Should have put them in the other way. I don't tighten them all up until I get all four screws in. I just get them started. Now, remember when you take your car apart, guys, you know, it's plastic on a metal. These will pull through if you go to crazy. Don't use an electronic drill. You're going to end up tearing your car up. Use a screwdriver. I don't know how many guys I see taking apart plastic stuff like this with a drill and just wrenching on it. They need to be tight. They don't need to be just torqued crazy. This is basic maintenance right here, though. Clean the car. The cleaner you keep your cars, the longer they're going to last and the better they're going to run. Look at that. Man, that thing spins all day now. Wonderful. Check your brushes, kind of straighten them up a little bit. That's it. This car's ready to rock and roll. Oh, I guess I put the wing back on. Technically, it has two little antennas that go here, too, but I take them off before we play with them because you know those would break like that if you flip this car over. 
So let's move this out of the way. And we'll do a little quick test blast. Kevin Tallbot style. To the moon! And send it through the wall right now. Would it? No. All right, let's see here. I guess we're up here on top, so I need to scoot this back. Sorry. All right. That's my nose. Hey, Dave. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's even laughing a little bit. I got him on that one. All right, there we go. Let's see here. Let's fire it up. Oh, yeah, nice and quiet. Smooth. Oh, <laughs> whoops. There's cars in the track. Whoops, there's stuff all over the track right now. Party fouls everywhere. It's okay. They're tough. Yeah, it's quiet. It runs good. I love the way this one sounds. Oh, I came off. Anyway, that's probably enough of that. <laughs> oh, I guess, Lori, do we go back to the front now? I think. Uh, if anybody has questions, I think this is a really good time. Uh, you know, if, if Lori or Dave can look, have I missed any questions? I know I've been having a very hard time looking at questions tonight because this is set up a lot different than normal. Um, You're on the front camera now. Front camera. All right. I need to set my butt down. That's right. All right. Do I look, do I look as beautiful as I can be right now? Oil. You need some oil. Yeah. So, Lori, if I'm not seeing questions, you let me know. I'm watching. You're watching. But there is quite a delay right now, so it's going to I get it. I get it. Booger cam. I think this is going to hurt the other cars to get. I can't see what that one says. This is trying to hurt the other cars to get an advantage on Lori. Right. I mean, guys, what do you think? Do you want to see more of this on the channel? Um, you know, my, my goal with it is to build this track out to look, I mean, beautiful. I want to do buildings and little people everywhere, and uh, I want to do grandstands, and I want to do full lighting on the track. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Is that something you want me to document how I do it? I have a 3D printer coming in on Tuesday. Um, it came very highly recommended from James at Motion RC. He has the same one. It's an Ender 3 Pro. Um, he's going to help me set it up and get it going. And if y'all guys are interested in it, I'll film it and show the process of getting it set up. Um, <laughs> focus on the girl on the wall. Oh, the girls on the wall are kind of funny. So I used to be a 3M distributor, and uh, those are... All the tires in these cars are 3M tape rolls. So like these right here are tape rolls. And I guess I could pick this up for a second. Is that better, Dave? Yeah. And then I have a Shelby GT Mustang, and that's a hand-drawn picture of a Shelby GT Mustang. Yeah, this is my man cave, guys. Welcome. All my Star Wars figures, you know I have a ton of them. Uh... My ad at with uh, I did do some figures on top of it just for fun. You probably couldn't even have seen them. Uh, there's a picture right above Lori's head right there. That's actually Lori and me on Han Solo and Princess Leia. Dave, can you zoom in on that, or am I way too shaky? Let's see. Would it be better if I set it down? See if you can zoom in on this picture. <sighs> All right. I'm setting it down. It's setting. Let's see if he can show this. This is a funny picture, guys. I know I'm getting off topic. We've been playing slot cars. It's good times. Bravo's RC build hanger. I have the Ender 3 Pro, and it's a great, it's a great machine. machine. Might be this, too. It's giving it. There you go. That'll make it look better. 
I'm curious if he's going to be able to make it happen or not. It's a pretty dang funny picture, though. It's before I had a beard, though, so... We'll see. Let me know, Dave. Did it work? <laughs> All right. It looks like this face right here. I love the fact that the ATAT is being used as a footbridge. <laughs> you like that? The footbridge ATST? Yeah. That was that was uh, that was some fun. So yeah. Like I said, this is mainly the main cave. We decided we'd try and stream from here tonight just to kind of show this. This is where the track's gonna live. I don't have room for it out in the airplane room. This is actually my office. Um, currently I work from home. Um, where Lori is sitting is actually my desk that y'all were looking at for work. Um, so yeah, I, I, this is just my little man room, you know? Everybody should have one, and uh, everybody should have a slot car track in their man cave. And have your buddies over. Beer fridge under the track so you don't have to go far. You know? Uh, someone said they came across our post on the digital slot cars group. Definitely came for more content. First time seeing your content. Yeah, man. Welcome. Third. Welcome. He's what? His name's the 13th. Nice. Well, welcome the 13th. Uh, check out the channel. We, we mainly do airplane content here, but we are lovers of all things RC, and I consider slot cars radio control because they also sell 2.4 gigahertz versions of these controllers. You do not have to stay hardwired. So it's RC. It's remote control. <laughs> there you go. So uh, <laughs> the hat cats high five over there. And I do apologize for any of our new viewers tonight that uh, we didn't get to do our normal thing. We had pre-cut uh, the unboxing of the track and everything we were going to play tonight, but it's okay. Dave has picked it up. Uh, our buddy, the RC Air Marshal. If you guys don't know him, where have you been? Although some of our new guys watching tonight, check him out also. Dave, uh, can you drop, or Lori, somebody drop a link to Dave Marshall's YouTube channel he came in and rescued us right at the beginning. Uh, we were, uh, I don't, yeah, you're a, you're a moderator. You can drop links. Um, but yeah, Dave came in at the last second and saved us because our stream was not working tonight. So he has been nice enough to be setting off to the side. I've been looking at his pretty face all night and he's been helping us stream tonight. And I think we pulled out still a pretty good show for how quickly everything <laughs> <laughs> happened live can be a lot of fun guys you can uh, we we when we started lives we had so many issues with the microphones not being loud enough and cutting out and going crazy i guess dave can you bring yourself on screen for a second do you want to do you want to come on and say hi to everybody all right he's, he's making himself pretty and decent he, he doesn't have any pants on right now <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> but yeah, I, guys, I really do hope you're enjoying the content and and you liking what we're doing. Uh, like I said, I did go to the slot car club in Lakeland, Florida this week. Uh, it's called Slot Tracks. Um, uh, they do have a group. They meet every Monday night. So if you're in the Florida, Central Florida area. Um, reach out to the guys there at Slot Tracks. Uh, they have a website also. Um, they don't charge anything for you to come out and race. Uh, they do have loaner cars um, for you to try it out, see if you like it. And then if you do enjoy it, all they ask is you buy your own cars over time. Um, they run uh, scale electric cars there. Uh, Carrera will run on the track, but they're not as competitive with them running those because uh, scale electric cars are lighter than Carrera. Uh, it's not a big deal if you're all running Carrera like I am here on my track. They all run very similar. Kind of. You can actually tell a pretty big difference between if you're driving the Lamborghini or the Carrera or this one. This one's back end slides around a lot more. This car's a lot faster. This one really plants to the road. It's funny how much different they drive. Um, this older school kind of thing, this one really slides around the track a lot. I was having a very hard time keeping up with Lori. 
So it's amazing how much different the little cars drive than each other. So I really do hope you guys are enjoying it. Dave, you coming? What the heck? No. I'm impatient. You know me. This guy had better be coming to hang out with me at my fun fly. I'm just saying. So, you yeah, hope this is or... working. <laughs> what? I have no idea. I can't see anything. Yeah, I think it's working. What are we doing? Transfer. Are we both on the same yes. screen? <laughs> Sweet. So, guys, if you're new to this channel, you probably haven't seen Dave yet either. Definitely check out his channel. He's got a lot of awesome RC content. Uh, he's really good at crashing platuses. Platuses, what's it called? Yeah, yeah. He's good at crashing PC 21s and and mid 29s. <laughs> what? You killed a mid 29? The, the oh little, yeah, the, the arrow. little arrows. Yeah. I'm hoping to fly mine this weekend. So yeah. I'm super excited. We're going to a fly in this weekend, actually. But that, that's what they right. say. If if you're not if you're not crashing, you're not flying, right? Right, definitely. I need to keep looking over here. I want to look at Dave, but I'll look over here. So <laughs> yeah, look at the camera. <laughs> Sorry, it's confusing. It's very confusing tonight. Normally, I have the TV behind the camera, so I can look at the TV. And <laughs> right, that. right, right. But it's just it's a little different tonight. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, Dave, what do you think? Are you ready to get you some slot cars? I may just get the cars and just bring them to Florida. Like... There you go. <laughs> get your car, bring it to Florida. I'll whoop you. But you I, I want to get one of the big ones, one of the 124. Can you run the 124s and the 130 seconds at the same time? I don't believe you can because I believe... So, guys, I only have the 132s right now, but I believe the 124s, you have to change the transformer for the track to run the bigger cars. That's the only change that has to happen. But I think if you have the 124 transformer, you can run the 132 cars on it. So there might be a way to run them together. I need to do a little more research on it. Um, I'm still kind of new to all this, too, guys. Uh yeah, I think I'm going to verify. We're going to find out. I plan on trying to run some of the big cars on the track also. The one nice thing on Carrera, if you look at uh, Scale Electrics and Carrera, the Carrera track's wider. So when you're running the 132 cars, you have a lot more room on the track. It's kind of nice. Whereas uh, if you're running the, the big cars, I mean, they're a lot bigger. I had a picture of them somewhere around here, but yeah, crazy. So, when's the next virtual fly-in day? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. But, to, you know, originally I was going to do tomorrow as another contest where we do the lowest knife edge pass and the winner gets a $25 gift certificate to Horizon Hobby. But... And is that still happening? It's not because oh. there was a little bit of change of plans that was kind of unannounced. Uh, between the last virtual fly-in and this one, where since the last virtual fly-in, Real Flight 9.5 has been released to the general public, and tomorrow we're going to be, you know, just kind of showcasing and playing around with Real Flight 9.5 and all the new airplanes that are available. So what I'd like to do is, rather than doing... Um, a contest tomorrow, I want to see if we can get some you know, super cool RC pilots in there and do a flight demonstration with some Thunderbird F-16s, because I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, I will definitely be there. Uh, I will make sure my real flight is up to date. Well, let me rephrase that. I hope to be there if my computer doesn't give me a fit between now and then. <laughs> right. I haven't tried to play real flight since we started having all the issues with the computer today. So, uh, if it's working, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll give you that promise. Yeah, the the if you start it up, you know, it's just got a button on the, the splash oh, screen to update to nine point five. That's not the part I'm worried about. I'm worried about our actual computer. Oh, oh, is the computer <laughs> like still Well, we couldn't I think it's a driver issue is what's causing us to not be able to boot OBS right now. So we'll oh. we'll figure it out. These guys don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna update OBS. Right. I was like, 
Hey, you updated OBS this week and it screwed up our whole computer. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to try and figure out what's going on with our streaming thing, but it's always fun to have somebody on the channel, and I'm glad you were able to make it. Yeah. Are, they, are you they still able to see you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's cool. It's different. Like I said, I was trying to do something a little different, and the lighting's a little weird in here and things. It is what it is. Um, we do plan on doing... So what we went over tonight, I do plan on doing our full pretty edited videos on, on how to set your track and everything. If any of you guys get this, I want to make full tutorials. Um, when the App Connect gets here, I'm going to do a, a tutorial on how the app works. I may talk to Dave about that because he's kind of the man at screen capture recording for making uh, video series things on Spectrum stuff lately. You're pretty good at it. I can it. help you. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to figure out how to do uh, where I can actually screen record what's going on on my iPad to put into the mm. not OBS work. <laughs> We'll figure it out. So, yeah. The, you know, the, the cool thing about all this is, you know, I tr we still try and help everyone we can. It's not like we're like, oh, no, this is our secret tactics. You guys can't learn what we're doing over here. We, we try and help everyone we can, you know. If Dave were to call me up tomorrow and say, hey, how'd you do this in OBS? I'd be like, here, this is how it's done, right. you know. There's no secrets with us. We're The better we make each other the better content you guys all get to see and it just works out better for everybody if we yeah, do that or if someone calls me like 30 seconds you know before the live stream is supposed to start and says hey can you stream my freaking crap <laughs> hey, hey save me <laughs> that's about how it went tonight guys i'm over here going we can't make it work yeah Dang. yeah i was given about a one minute warning like Hey, can you stream this? Like, uh, but maybe. <laughs> and and like a minute later, we're streaming, so it worked. Nothing, nothing for a step we, up. We pulled That's it off, man. <laughs> well, man, uh, uh, guys, I hope everybody had a good time tonight. I hope you have learned a little bit about slot cars. There will be many, many more episodes to come. I think that it's something fun. Uh, I've seen there was quite a few people in here tonight checking it out. Um, yeah, there's not a lot out on slot cars right now that I've seen. I don't know if there's a lot of guys doing live stream slot car stuff, so maybe we'll corner the market, huh? <laughs> yes, you found your new calling. My new calling, that's right. Some slot, slot cars. cars. <laughs> And it, I might eventually get a scale electric set too, just so we can see both of the big ones. Scale electrics and this are the two big ones. Um, Tower Hobbies does AFX, which are the small HO scale. Uh, I don't know if you guys would be interested in HO scale. They're tiny compared to these. Uh, it's what I was originally looking at getting was AFX, the little bitty yeah, ones, and I found these. The AFX are more oh. like Matchbox cars. Those things are huge. Right. Right, I looked at these and was like, oh, I want them. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, man, I don't want to tie you up too late tonight. Um, if nobody has any big questions right now, have I missed anything, Laurie? No, everybody's been playing good in the comments. It might have been me nice to each other. Well, guys, that was it for me. I've told you all I know to tell you right now. I'm going to keep playing with these. As we get more cars, I will do legitimate unboxing videos of it. Um, we will try and figure something out with what we had recorded for tonight. Uh, as far as the unboxing and things, I guess that's going to come at a later date now. I have some pictures of me building the track, so maybe we'll put those in. Uh, yeah, it's been a good time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, something a little different. Uh, it was a little wild start to the rodeo tonight, but I think we did it, man. <laughs> stop, so, stop looking over there. <laughs> sorry, I keep looking at Dave and the comment section, and it's just what it is. It's a weird night tonight. Next week, we'll be back in the studio. 
hopefully everything's back to normal and fixed and we don't have any issues. Uh, yeah, so get out and fly with your friends. If you're in Florida, me and Rich will be at Watts Fly-In. Look on Facebook. He posted it everywhere. I can't remember where it is right now. It's it's Venice, Florida, I think. I got invited to this last minute, so... Ooh, by the beach. Yep, it'll be right by the beach. Uh, it's one of our favorite beaches that it's actually near. Uh, Inglewood. Inglewood Beach. Yeah, it's right down there. It's one of our favorite places to go. Um, so maybe we'll sneak over there. Who knows? But uh, it's a little bit of a drive next weekend. And then we're a little over a month away from the Mary Boozer fly-in in in November. So November 20th and 20th, 21st, 22nd, Mulberry, IRCC. You can Google this, IRCC uh, Club. Normally we put the flyer up on the screen, but I didn't send it to Dave and we can't do it right now. But if you're (laughs) in the area, I'm flying our Mary Boozer flying. All it costs you is a toy for a tot. And a $10 landing fee, and you can come hang out with us for the weekend. Uh, I believe Dave is going to be there. Yep. He's on the flyer, so he better be. Yeah, yeah, and I'm either going to be crashing planes or cars or something. Something's getting crashed, for sure. Right. Uh, hang on, guys. Bring it out there. You know, this is an all-day, all-night thing. Uh, I'm going to camp at the event the entire time, so... Uh, when the sun goes down, we're probably going to bust out the tanks and the cars and play with those at night um, and drink some adult beverages with Dave. And Dennis Farley's going to be here. Anybody that's wanted to meet the Farley crew, he's coming down. Rich will be there. Uh, James from Motion is still checking to make sure he's coming, but he has promised uh, that he's going to start sending me the product either way to where he is going to have his giveaway planes for the event. So we're going to have Motion RC plane giveaways for the event, for sure. I did confirm that with him yesterday. So one way or the other, he's going to let me know fairly soon if he is going to be able to make it to the event or not. But one way or the other, they are sending airplanes to support it. So go Motion, right, guys? Um yeah, and I know Rich has got some FMS planes coming for the event also. So, big thanks, RC Informer. Um, yeah, so let's do this, man. Let's wrap it up. Um, check out some more Carrera if you like it. We linked their main webpage uh, down below. You can also type in Carrera 132 on Amazon. I don't have an Amazon store, but that guy right over there does. Who, me? Don't you have an Amazon affiliate that store? It's a big negative. Well, none of He's us do. Got so if one. you want one, Pilot Ryan's got you one. <laughs> yeah, you can get one from Pilot Ryan. There Click you go. somebody's Amazon I, store. Yeah, well, I don't have one either. You know, guys, the reason I did this is because it was fun. Uh, I never have to be sponsored by somebody to do something. This is just something I wanted to do. Uh, I bought all this with my own money. Uh, these are something I believed in. And so when I tell you these are cool and I like it, it's because I like it, not because I'm a shill or anything. So none of us make any money off of these. But if you want one, Amazon, Carrera Store, Hobby Town, wherever you want. Links are in the description. Let's get the heck out of here, Dave. I'm going to see you guys later. Get out there and fly with your friends, all that good stuff. You're you're not going to do like a countdown? You normally do a countdown. Want to count down? I mean, you normally do one. We got That's how I know when to hit stop wanna... stream. <laughs> count it down. This guy in the corner, wherever he is. I'm so lost right now. I don't know where I'm at. Yep. So, so... Go subscribe to Dave Marsh. Hey, thanks. And subscribe to the yeah. Merry Boozers. There you go. Drop his link on his way That's out. Right. Check the out, guys. He's and good. hit the thumbs up. And all that good stuff. That's right. All that good stuff. Guys, thank y'all so much for being understanding at the beginning of the show tonight. We really do appreciate you. Yep. Have a good night, guys. All right. Bye, folks.